Jackpot fever is in the air this morning. Can you feel it? There are already long lines to buy Powerball tickets as we count down to tonight's $300 million drawing. So that had us wondering, is there a strategy for cashing in on this massive jackpot or is it just sheer luck? ABC's Susan Solney is looking for answers in Bethesda, Maryland. Also, maybe buying me a ticket as well, Susan? <laughs> if you want it. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Yes, the answer for some people is ritual and superstition, and that goes a long way. Whether your numbers come from a meaningful place. Birth dates of the people I love. That's it. Or randomized computer. We do quick pick uh, almost every time. Pick. Lottery officials and mathematicians say every Powerball ticket has the same chance of winning. But that hasn't stopped aspiring millionaires from trying to crack a secret code. My mother's birthday, my girlfriend's birthday, my dog's birthday, you know, all my favorite ladies in my life. With $300 million waiting for a winner tonight, it's no surprise. I'm always uh, superstitious about it. I'll, I prefer to buy at the gas station. How about moving to a luckier place? Indiana holds the record for the most jackpots at 38. Pennsylvania, Missouri, Minnesota, and Kentucky round out the top five. But there's no magic. They've been playing the longest. California hasn't had any Powerball jackpots. Unlucky? No, it just joined the game last year. Tomorrow's going to be my day. Saturday night. Absolutely. Might there be a lucky day of the week? 60% of winners bought their tickets on the day of the drawing. But sorry, no luck there either. Experts say sales tend to spike on the day of the drawing with a huge boost in the final hour of sales. The greatest debate, use lucky numbers or let the machine decide. Quick picks do take the lion's share of the jackpots, but sorry, here again, it's just the math. Close to 80% of all ticket buyers let the computer do the picking. So no matter what you do, the odds are pretty stubborn. One in 175 million. So you're still more likely to be struck by lightning or die in a shark attack than win the jackpot tonight. But we can all still dream, right?